Welcome to the Daily Devotional with Derek Nider. Thanks for joining us as he walks us through the pages of Scripture with a daily word of insight and encouragement. So blessed to be with you today. Thanks for taking a minute with me. And um, I am wearing a shirt, I just realized this, uh, from our training center in La Gloria, Mexico. It's just south of um, Tijuana, just north of Rosarito. Amazing training center. We've got uh, great leadership. Jeff and Leela have been been so faithful in leading um, our church planting collective and facilitating so many uh, trips for short-term teams and just want to encourage you to be praying for them today. Um, they for sure are, are a city set on a hill and um, this coming church planting collective really, really is going to be amazing. We have a lot of church planting teams um, that will be throughout Mexico, Central and South America uh, that will be coming, God willing. So. So anyway, pray for that, would you? Verse 7, chapter 43 today. And uh, I'll pray, we'll read, we'll spend some time meditating on this, and then we can experience God's Word. Father, thank you. Thank you so much for answering the biggest questions in our lives, God. We have to look no further than the Holy Scriptures in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, verse 7 says, Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. And let me just say this again. Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. Um, this particular verse is set in the context of God drawing the, the um, children of Israel back to Jerusalem. So we're talking... Um, we're talking about a post-exile move of God that's probably fulfilled in a variety of different ways because, you know, God's been doing that uh, a lot. You know, he did that uh, when they were exiled to Babylon. Um, he is doing that. He has done that May 14th, 1948. Um, we've seen the Jewish people have a homeland again, which has been an extraordinary thing to see. Eight million citizens in Israel right now. It's gone up like a, a million people since I started uh, traveling to Israel a number of years ago. Um, but this is the thing, right? You have, you got questions. You got questions, man. I know you do. And you're like, why? Why am I here? Like, what is my purpose? This is like the biggest question, right? And millions of books are sold and, and billions of dollars are generated on and from people who, you know, say they can answer this question. And you know, there's a bunch of different answers, answers you'll get to this. And, um, but the Bible gives us the answer and it's a beautiful answer. I think that the answer the Bible gives is higher in its scope, is higher in its value. Um, it leaves all the other answers that the world gives in the dust. I mean, it really does. Uh, you see how diminutive the answers the world has for the purpose of our being. You see how diminutive those answers are when you compare it to what the Bible says. And this is what God says here. Everyone who's called by my name, whom I created for my glory whom I formed and made. And that phrase right there, whom I created for my glory. Memorize it today, right? Because this is the answer to the biggest question in life. Why am I here? What is my purpose? Your purpose, the reason that God has created you, and by the way, you are created. You are fearfully fashioned. You know, you're a marvelous creation by the almighty maker, like who is like God? And, and physiologically and soulfully and spiritually, there's nothing, there's nothing that compares to human beings who are made in the image of God. I mean, the whole creation story climaxes with that point, right? God made and it was good and it was good and it was good. And then he made uh, mankind, humanity, and God said, it is very good. And, you know, he created us, the scripture says, in his image. You know, he didn't create any other living being in his image. It was just humanity. And the reason that he has made you is so that you can be an expression of his glory. So that you can be an expression of his glory. You might be thinking, well, what does that mean? You know, what does glory mean? Glory is the manifest 
the manifest expression of the perfections of God. Glory is the manifest expression or revelation of the perfections or the holiness of God. Let me just break that down a little bit more and I'll reverse it, okay? God is holy. That means that God is, God is altogether otherworldly, that every quality and attribute that God has is absolutely perfect in all of its ways, right? If you were to make a list of the qualities of God um, and kind of put them all together, they'd be facets of a perfect diamond, all of them independently amazing, extraordinary, and perfect, and all of them collectively absolutely overwhelming, right? And so that is the truth. Now, when that is on display, when that is manifested, when that is revealed, that is glory. That's the glory of God. It's the weight and the beauty of God on display for all to see. You say, how does that have anything to do with me? Because this is our purpose. Our purpose is to express God. Like we're image bearers. We don't just reflect the image of God. We radiate it through the new uh, creation. We have a new self. There's a new man. There's a new woman. We have Christ living within us, right? We're brand new. That radiates. The qualities and attributes of God radiate through our life. And so let me close by saying this. This is the purpose every day. God, reveal yourself through my life to people, to those who don't yet know you, to those who do know you. God, in the workplace, in the business transaction, when I'm at the gym, in the classroom. God, when I'm walking and I see the people that I see every single day and I wave to them, I pray an attribute, I pray a quality, I pray some aspect of your divine nature would be revealed through my life. That is when you discover your purpose. That is when everything else falls into place. Have a good day. We hope this podcast has ministered to you. If it has, we welcome you to rate it or leave a review. If you would like to stay connected with Pastor Derek Nider or find many more teachings, please visit awakenlv.org. Click visit and then choose Pastor Derek Nider. These links are also in this episode's description. Until next time, God bless you.